indeed when you say yes for some other reason well inside say no we are about to learn lifeless exactly yeah yeah it's true and if i end up in those type if and in the past if i was in those type of situation i was so uneasy and my heart felt you know like heavy and i wasn't comfortable and i wasn't myself and i and that thing is giving me anxiety and better you know better say no and that's the hardest part than to deal with all the other problems you know <laughs> weasel good morning better feeling sorry for i don't know a minute or two or five or a day than feeling sorry for a week or a month or a year or even longer than that a lifetime So yeah, no one will stand up for yourself because no one know what knows what's exactly in your heart and how you feel about things. So when you feel uncomfortable with something, just say, I need a minute here, okay? <laughs> I'm not feeling okay with this. Let me think about it. I will let you know. <laughs> Good morning, M.M. is called assertiveness and we learn as we go in the character, uh, that uh, character item. Oh, yeah, it's true. But um, I witness younger people that are a lot more stronger, you know, that we used to be probably because these days parents are stronger and they teach their kids to to be opinionated to be strong to say no with yeah back in days parents weren't exactly like that <sighs> i'm not feeling comfortable with not knowing how big this pie is gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be a pie for myself <laughs> Good morning, M.M. How are you? You still have snow? I think John has snow warning. <laughs> okay, I have milk and I need a sip out of this. <laughs> M.M., you still have snow? So good, so good. The snow is nearly gone. <laughs> is it sweet, the pizza pie or hearty? <laughs> no, it's not gonna be sweet. I'm gonna use chicken meat, spices. Um, yeah, let's see how this will turn out. <laughs> I have to look for it now. <laughs> I stay inside because I'm very insecure of never dare talk. Really culpable? You don't talk in person with people? I don't see you that way. I think you just... Mm -mm. <laughs> I almost had no snow this year. <laughs> Okay, I'll put this here. I don't think culpable is like that. Let's see. Toop, 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 beep, 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 beep. Okay, and lowest temperature and go. <laughs> What's no? What is no? I haven't seen it in a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was a little lie. <sighs> okay, let's write names here because we had earlier in the workout stream Cal Scott and Culpable. So let's write them their names here. Thank you. Thank you. Ba, 
maybe I'm gonna go out for a walk after the um, after the cooking stream uh, for me cloudy murky weather is making me feel bad <laughs> so I need a bit of walk to cheer myself up and um, workouts as well makes me feel a lot better either running either strength workout like so much better ah i wanted to tell you something so um i i i was heavy whoa i wonder how i englishmen say this onomatopoeia the words that mimic sounds like dana does sometimes <laughs> <laughs> I do that when I'm taking pauses and think. Oh, I don't realize, but yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Thank you so much, Barry, for BTS. I appreciate. Barry, I appreciate. Um, um. <laughs> so, in the past few years. I noticed and John noticed as well that I'm breathing really bad during nighttime, like really, really bad. And I will always joke with him that, oh my goodness, I'm going to die on sleep like that, suffocating myself. <laughs> and I'm not trying to push you into do something that you not uh, might not want, not feeling comfortable or, you know, I'm just saying small observations that I am I am seeing noticing um, since I started running you know I would I I always told you that I don't like cardio that uh, I'm happy with just strength workouts um, but I really love running and I noticed that I am breathing a lot better during nighttime as well just a tiny Thing over there you know but makes such a difference in my life overall life healthier life you know I'm surprised so if you're not into running maybe just walk from time to time a few times per week around your neighborhood in the closest park the weather is improving now we have spring summer is gonna come the weather is going to make you feel better overall and who knows, even your breathing if you... Cardiovascular health, for real. So I am impressed. Like, <laughs> I started running like a month ago and after each run, I noticed these things that are just blowing my mind. Like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know, maybe I inspire you if you have any problem like that. Yeah, I wanted to tell you this. Um, okay, um, <laughs> and now I'm over conscious about this. Why? Because I am watching with John uh, the movie, the TV show, How I Met Your Mother. And one of the characters, I don't know if you saw this, I don't want to spoil it for you, but you should. It's really fun and easy to watch. And one of the characters used to have this thing like, mm. <laughs> so now I'm doing this. <laughs> you inspire me to go to the fridge and eat everything after every stream. <laughs> no, not everything. Don't eat the fridge. <laughs> Oh my god, thank you so much. Using Prime, I appreciate. Thank you so much. Good, running do stuff that needs to be shaking or massage in a backpack. <laughs> um, um. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop with them. Um, let me write. I'm trying to find the red one. I'm trying to find the red one. Where's the red? I love the red. Oh, I found it. Red me right mentally skinny. Mentally skinny. Needs to end us. Just need to get through a few more. <laughs> I appreciate. Thank you so much. Means a lot. 
And even if you um, the ads are annoying sometimes, come on. Even if the ads are annoying, it helps us. The streamers or creator content creators, you know, means a lot that you are patiently watching them, patiently watching them. Mentally skinny. Thank you. How are you? <laughs> Can hear me at all? Died? Better? Oh, so I was saying that even if ads are annoying, uh, watching you means a lot for us streamers. Thank you. Or when you're watching my YouTube videos, if you watch the ads as well and let them play, means a lot. You know, I'm surviving like that. Thank you. I want to make a coffee and uh, I need a kombucha and we're gonna make the filling for the pie but we'll give it time to rise in the meantime I had two coffees already so most Romanian says audio like that interesting um, we speak a uh, Latin language here or a romantic language and lots of words are similar with Italian, Spanish and French and sometimes I'm saying them like that because this is how you know I usually say the spray it's olive oil in which I have a um, basil spring thingy I'm used to hearing this cute speak yeah <laughs> So my name is Dana, but you know, my Twitch username is Dana TV. But when I'm doing IRL streams in Romania, I am saying Dana TV because we pronounce TV. <laughs> you know, that small nuance. Oh, the leave kitchen perfume, yeah, isn't oil too thick to get through the spray? No, 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 it's working perfectly. No, I bought this bottle actually from uh, from Lidl, extra virgin oil, herbs, the Provence flavor, and I refill it with my own oil, and it's just working perfectly. And I put a basil leaf in there, <laughs> and the music stopped. Why? Why you stopped? Why did you stop? So we're making a pizza pie and we're gonna improvise, of course. I never made this before. I have it in my head. I wrote ingredients like, you know, like general, but, uh, I will tell you how much and how we use them and I hope it's gonna come out amazing I learned small bits of Romanian over time the easy one is miss miss what hi weasel Wuzzle. hello it's going well miss miss what is miss miss <laughs> what is that? I'm gonna make decaf coffee. Weasel Weasel. Yeah, we have a lovely language. Uh, maybe a bit harder. The grammar is really hard, but we read the letters and the word will read the words the way we write them you know so we read the way we write them that's easy the grammar is complicated a bit oh merci should mean the shortest version of thank you we say merci a lot like the French, merci, 
uh, mulțumesc, means thank you, mm, yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, mulțumesc, or merci, we say merci like in French, like that. We shout in a little bottle, we shoot in a little bottle of coffee, beans, and it's grinded. I have this is like espresso, I think is I don't know how you call this uh, thing that I make coffee in. The steam, the water gets uh, warmed up here, and the steam comes through the grinded coffee, and call it percolator. Um, I, I think I saw on Amazon that it's called like mocha, mocha coffee or on YouTube, mocha something. Dana is like, what? <laughs> this is a new kitchen or have you just not been here in the long, you haven't been here in a long time, Wizzle Wizzle. I'm in my apartment in Romania. <laughs> The different regions of Romania seems to have some real difference in language. Not difference, the words are the same, it's just the way we pronounce them a bit. We have a bit of accents, dialects, I could say, um, you know, yeah. On the east part, uh, people spoke more Moldavian, it's the same Romanian language, but they have, um, I say they have honey in their uh, pronunciations <laughs> yeah percolators yeah that's the name i think i saw them on youtube like mocha co coffee makers or something percolator sounds like a bullet or something like it's <laughs> yeah i say that uh People on the east of Romania have honey in their, in their voice. <laughs> because I don't know, they have like a um, funny way of talking and yeah, goofy talking and yeah i don't know <laughs> this is me saying they have honey in their voices and i really love the people uh, from the country moldova how they talk they speak the same romanian as us but they have their own bit of you know accents and dialects and yeah we speak the same romanian we have the same traditions they are part of us here <laughs> Okay, milk. That makes sense. I occasionally watch an East Romanian streamer and I don't really like the way he talks. Yeah, because you probably don't understand the words or yeah. Pizza pie. Since halfway between bread and a pizza, um, I'm gonna make a pretty pizza pie. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be a lace on top of it, like out of this world it's gonna be this pizza pie. <laughs> on the west part of Romania people um, speak more like probably Hungarian Austrian accents, a bit different, you know. Um, we have another region that is called Oltenia around Old River, and they have again another type of accent. <laughs> the cadden of these fittings bother me a little. Oh. I understand Anna why to talk perfect so fluent in Romanian. Fluent in Romanian, what? Oh, you understand me perfectly in Romanian? <laughs> you getting your home painted? 
not thicker than on no 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 not thicker than normal pizza rise and shine it's time for pizza pie no 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 offense it's your perspective uh, i live close to bucharest so here we speak more like um true clear clean romanian you know <laughs> you should see my youtube videos in romanian how i'm speaking there to to decide if you if you like my way of talking never said in romanian but i do understand almost everything you say in your stream so in my head i'm fluent in romanian <laughs> i would imagine romania is like yes we have several yeah i am it's true it's true kind of the same yeah okay my coffee here is done yeah like that we have lots of influence because um we are surrounded with slavic people turkey is close greece is close uh, where the black sea is uh, we have lots of greek communities and turkish communities and they brought here their culture and their way of talking and actually we have lots of turkish words in romanian we have lots of Russians word, words in Romanian as well, like things that we use every single day. For example, sugar, we say zahar. The same is in Russian, they, they use the same. For us, the word yes, we say da, the same as Russians. Um, another Turkish word, uh, a Turkish word that I can tell you about is for soup we call soup uh, the sour soup with the broth we call it chorba that's a turkish word so <laughs> black good morning how are you you managed to sleep any i got the jamie jamie oliver dvd he makes pizza pie but his is like a thicker cinta pizza i haven't saw that or maybe if i saw it i don't remember exactly this is my take on i don't know it's gonna be a la donna pizza <laughs> pie <laughs> Ooh, a la donna pizza pie <laughs> i just love when you sing the love <laughs> sounds good for example we have latin words that are sounds almost similar as italian and spanish you say casa for home we say casa the same almost the same uh for table you say mesa for us is masa so just a let letter difference this is why it's really easy for us to to learn Looking on Farfuria Vesela, and I understand that my Romanian understanding is not like zero. Yeah, but you see the, what I'm doing and you just like fluent. <laughs> you like fluent if you watch. <laughs> okay. Yeah. did that for this here and let's pour coffee over black you have your coffee with you you brought your coffee if not i'm having one for you here okay Ploiești, overcast, 11 Celsius, yeah, it's really gloomy outside. Winnipeg, clear sky, temperature minus 06. 
it was called for for uh, for John as well in the past few days and I saw a warning that it's gonna snow again or something coffee <laughs> look at this coffee with three layers of I love the smell of coffee look at this one huh isn't this pretty coffee the one I'm making looks like really pretty coffee Now I have to let it for that milk to settle down a bit. And let's see for filling. For this filling. I love the smell of pizza pizza pie in my plate at the end of the stream. Hi Roisin. Hello, hello. Uh, chicken. Chicken meat. I'm gonna use maybe a bit of ketchup bunch of spices mm, let's see what else we have around here i have some spring onion i'm gonna add one of these just because i have it and i can use it i'm gonna use cheese but I want to see, I have some like this that is grated and I have a mozzarella. I, I kept this in the fridge quite a little, I don't know when I bought it, so I need to see if it's still good. Have you heard of Chicago deep dish? Yes, 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 I heard. No, it's going to be different. Uh, if you have a recipe for Chicago deep dish pizza, post it in Discord. We, I would love to try that. I never made that, but this is different. I can't have there is hard to find a good fake meal to coffee. Oh, yeah. Um, which one? I like the... When I don't have normal milk, I, I have no problem with normal milk. Try almond milk, the vanilla one. That's, you know... I tried coconut one and I tried oats one and I don't like it. The vanilla almond milk is acceptable. <laughs> Blue, how are you? <laughs> Recipe for Chicago deep dish. Go to Chicago. True, true. So I have these, but I would love to use these. We will see which one is good i have an onion i have chicken i want to use about 300 grams i have some ketchup that i want to use i'm gonna use chili powder all of that and some of this piri piri to make it spicy come to my city for a deep dish <laughs> someday 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 <laughs> i might Hi for you, hi for me. Hi for you, hi for me, hi for everyone on this stream. I've been having macadamia nut milk in my coffee recently. It's good, but I haven't tried it on its own. Uh, do you buy it or you make it yourself? I love cooking, nice. Where are you from, Rasheen? Yeah, I find some of them split when put them in the hot water. Oh, I think here they try to introduce like some type of vegetable milks in stores and they are called barista the only downside of those is that the sugar quantity can be quite high try to froth it i don't know i haven't tried with almond milk to froth it up to see oh you bought it i haven't saw here macadamia milk almond coconut oats what i think that's all i've seen mm. good 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 so let's get chicken out 
You're in Australia. Yeah, I don't know what products, but I haven't saw macadamia milk in Canada either. Or maybe I didn't look. Next time I'm going to check. Okay, I have 340 grams of chicken. How's the weather in Australia, Weasel Weasel? Leek? No, it's spring onion. Quite a big one. I have three smaller, but I chose that big one to put in the, in the pizza. And this one, I'm gonna cut it in small pieces so I can fit it in the food processor. I think my neighbors came home. I heard the door of their apartment quite a lot today. Um, <laughs> knife. <laughs> and as always, your chicken pieces look way bigger than the ones I have in the fridge. Look, this is my hand and I have small hands. I don't know. Uh, what else to show you for comparison? Maybe with my phone, like, see, this is my phone and that's the chicken. <laughs> I put some bottles of kombucha in the fridge today. One of the bottle caps had very distinct bulge. Looked like it was about to blow. I haven't tasted the kombucha in the jar blue. Uh, but I, th I think I need to, I need to bottle it up. I haven't tasted it. Uh, today will be the seventh day, but I had no fruits. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna buy some pineapple and stuff so I can, uh... <sighs> oh, okay, not. It looks more human. Now it looks more human when you put the phone next to it. Yeah, it looks human. See? <laughs> it's not that big. I'm, I don't have turkey breast here. <laughs> not turkey breast. <laughs> and have you tasted any? I want to open a bottle too, Blue. I need to open a bottle. I cannot wait. But it's a good thing that you put it in the freeze so it doesn't explode. <laughs> I had one of those exploding on me, so. Okay, I cut this just in small pieces so I can fit it in the food processor. You can use beef for this as well if that's what you have. Means beef meat. Okay. I can actually clean this up and feed this in the food processor, you know, to grind it up as well, along with the meat. And I need some garlic too. So I cut these, wash it. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Let's chop these so I can feed it in the food processor and I need some garlic too. Yes, I had some kombucha today already. The taste, the home brewed kombucha is so good. Baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, ribs. Excuse me. <laughs> Chili. I will open one. Baby back, I will open one too. I love it. 
I forgot the beer in the freezer. I was trying to get cold one. Let's just say it wasn't in one piece the next day. <laughs> like a glass b bottle beer you put in the freezer. Oh, good Lord. Yeah, liquid um, increasing volume when you freeze it out a can. <laughs> My baby back ribs. So can actually explode? Really? I didn't knew that. The can, aluminum can. Wow. I thought only glass bottle might be, you know, in trouble in the freezer. I didn't knew that the can. Oh, the top. <laughs> Pops the top. <laughs> like the um, croissant uh, can. Remember in Canada when I bought that croissant can? that you have to whack on the table and it pops <laughs> i got scared <laughs> sakina how are you hello hello did you work out today sakina tomorrow i have shoulders today i had quads tomorrow shoulder day two two of them two garlic cloves i think it's enough Okay, put that. No, today is resting day as it, as it is Easter. Oh, I had yesterday the run, the longest run I ever did ever in my life. And um, I didn't do leg yesterday uh, either because I went with my mom and... I did legs today, I did the quads today, tomorrow shoulders and Wednesday should be rest day but I'm planning Wednesday to go for a run and don't do my normal workout. See I'm combining them so I'm planning to go for a run Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. I don't have yet a program or you know in my... I'm not yet that educated in this aspect uh, I know 11 kilometers yeah so for the moment I go three times and Wednesday and Friday I will try not to push it that much maybe do 5k Wednesday an 8-ish Friday and a longer run on Sunday we will see. It's all in my mind. I have no program yet. I don't know. I'm not. I yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going with what my body kind of is telling me for the moment. You know. Question for all: If you drive your car forward, it says a hundred kilometers an hour, and you have a fly in the car flying around. Does this mean that a fly flies a hundred kilometers and more? <laughs> Probably. I think will die if I just try to walk fast. I said the same thing, you know. I used to say the same thing. And I was feeling like I'm going to die after 10 minutes of run. But your body has adapts so fast. And changes are happening so fast. By the second run, you're going to be better. By the third, you're going to be even better and so on. So, hmm. <laughs> it's a question of perspective. <laughs> I think Samira is a country woman of yours. She might help you with a basic build-up. Uh, she is a Twitch too. Can you share her channel in Discord or message one of my mods? I um, I think I can uh, I think I can um, find something on YouTube, but I haven't uh, actually looked for. You know, I think I can find something, but I haven't looked for it yet on something. But yeah, I would love to discover other people that are. Are you running on the road? Yes, outside on the street. In the rain, wind, sun, or whatever days is 
yeah, outside in I I don't have a treadmill or anything. Have you seen in my apartment? I am not going to the gym. I never been to a gym. I'm running outside on the streets. Come on. I'm running in the Lidl looking for the best deals for the next dream. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, speaking of Lidl, I have the funniest thing that happened to me in Lidl. And every time I'm thinking about that is, good Lord, I must have been crazy. <laughs> like Lidl is the... Uh, essence of my craziness <laughs> I told you about this on stream before and every time I think about that it's like so I went to Lidl one time and I got one of those shopping carts and to be honest after right after this happened I was too embarrassed to say it on stream because it's insane but yeah, after I built up the courage, I had to, I have to tell you whatever you think. So I went to Lidl and I got one of those tiny shopping carts because I thought I'm not going to buy too much, blah, blah. And when I'm in the store, I like to look around on both part, eyes, you know, on one side, the other, get whatever I need, put them in my shopping cart and sometimes i leave the shopping cart and i go to the you know shelf to pick up whatever and come back so i led my shopping cart to one spot got something from the shelf and i come back i took shopping cart and i did my run to the store and i went to the to the registers and stayed in line so i can pay for whatever i bought and not once after the first thing that I put in the shopping cart, I looked in my shopping cart to see what I have there, you know? And I ended up at the register. And when I looked in my shopping cart, I was having just booze. And I never buy booze because I, I don't drink. I'm not, you know, I don't drink. And I never put those things in my shopping cart. <laughs> But the shopping cart was full of, of bottles of alcohol. And I said, what in the fruit loop? Guess what I did? I got someone else's shopping cart. And I walked all the store with that. <laughs> and when I realized what I did, I, I, in my mind already, I, I realized when that happened, you know? So I ran back with the shopping cart to the point. <laughs> And over there was a guy with my shopping cart and he was like this, looking around <laughs> and asking himself, what in the world, who got mine? <laughs> so yeah, I, it was a moment of total embarrassment. <laughs> I grabbed that and I left. <laughs> Yeah, secretly I wanted that. Imagine, but the guy's face. <laughs> he was like, what in the, where's mine? <laughs> you could just read. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Me, happens. But after the, the, the day, I was so embarrassed to tell you this on stream. <laughs> it happens. You know, like John says, when I'm with him on stream and I'm with you, with the camera, with your chat on my wrist and I'm walking and yapping just with you, he always say, I can fall off a cliff and you will not even notice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah was like a what in the world moment for him true hi billy wong how are you 
that's when I will just drop the wrong card and go take a new one and start all over. <laughs> like thing happened, like, mm. <laughs> no, I was like, whatever. <laughs> I uh, will get what pan to cook this. <sighs> this happened. Come on, happens to you too, not just me. This one, let's use this one. Ooh. I just went back, grabbed mine, and you know, left. I didn't say anything else. Just bye. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I must admit that has never ever happened to me. <laughs> or is ever ever happened to you this thing like people are, you know, a bunch of people in the store and you grab things from the shelf and you want to put them in your shopping cart but because there are so many people you end up almost putting them in someone else's shopping cart and you're like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Did that happen to you or no? That either. I'm going to put some oil here. Oh, like that. And... Um, nope. Okay. I'm just me. Okay. <laughs> I will put here the meat. <laughs> I don't ever keep my shopping cart like, you know, I don't handcuff myself to the shopping cart. I just, sometimes I just leave it over there and I... And I never go into places in the store that's crowded. Sometimes I go, yeah. Okay. And I will do the same with this one. And I don't miss it too much. Like, you know, I let it a bit coarser, not quite mash it up. I'm craving potatoes. I'm craving mashed potato, um, but I have no potatoes. I will, um, I will need to buy some potatoes. I have only those ones that you can fry uh, in the freezer, but I'm craving like mash or like boiled potatoes with a bit of butter, spices over, like, what a good stream to make it back in here. <laughs> The shopping cart thing has never happened to me. I have stood outside the wrong car in the car park waiting for someone to open the door. <laughs> I hate it when people stand in the way with their car taking up spaces where six, seven persons will fit in. Just where you... Another thing, question for you. Did it ever happen for you to drive, to be with someone else and to just go in your car, start driving and forgetting the person in the parking lot that happened to you? <laughs> Asking for a friend. I've been the one forgotten in the parking lot. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> I have on the wrong car or so I tried to open the door with my key for the wood let's see if this is working <laughs> no not that <laughs> nope nope <laughs> I have gone to another car. 
trying to open the other person's car, but it made me imagine if the person that you would try to open the car would have come and see you there, like, <laughs> what this woman is trying to do, still like her? <laughs> Once we went to McDonald's drive-thru and one of my friends forgot his fries halfway home, we laughed all night from that. <laughs> <laughs> oh good lord this smells so good onion garlic chicken meat we need spices here <laughs> oh let me show you my my uh, water cup the color we talked about this I started to panic I thought my key fob died <laughs> But we used to sit and wait while a friend ran in the shop. So we parked the car and one person runs in. Then we repark the car far, far away from the parking lot and sit and laugh when the person tried to find... Yeah, he, the guy was coming out of the store and like, where, where, where's the car? <laughs> Octavius, hello, hello. Much love for Dana. Thank you so, so much. How are you? Happy Easter. Yeah, with two heavy bags. <laughs> bad, bad calvary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's add spices, paprika, some chili powder. <laughs> Nice water cup. It's from uh, from Walmart. Morning River is from Walmart. It's a it's this brand Tal. It's from Walmart. I I love it. <laughs> I love the color. <laughs> um, what I wanna do there instead of salt, I will add a bit of chicken bouillon. This one because I will have to put some water in there to you know I don't like it dry like this so feeling for the pie so paprika chili powder it's called chili explosion some pepper, some, I need some oregano, do I have basil I can add, and, and oregano. <laughs> I heard like this, morning river is from Walmart, and like, what is she saying now? <laughs> <laughs> morning river is from walmart no she's not from walmart you cannot find morning rivers at walmart <laughs> the cup is from walmart <laughs> okay oregano lots of it and i'm gonna add a bit of water here I will light the fire for this to be a bit stronger, you know, so I can cook the meat, not boil it like this. I like it to brown it a bit. So I move it here. Do we see this? No. Let's move this. It's a portable camera, see? <laughs> this cook more and then 
I'm trying to separate the meat. I don't like when it's clumping up like. But it's gonna be good. You can make it with beef as well, I told you. And I have some chicken bouillon on the teaspoon here. Ba -da -da -da. Get the in my belly! For some reason, look like an omelette with lots of herbs. I'm gonna bring it here closer so you can see it. Yeah, I think I the glass. Gives me zero grip when I, uh, or this one. I don't, I hate touching. If I have oil, I need to wash my hands. I hate having oil and yeah, I don't do that. Yesterday I was making something called chocolate pudding cake one of those ingredients is dust process dutch processed cocoa i managed to drop the container it was like a oh my god cocoa powder is so fine i it was a oh good lord how did you clean up that like i will have to throw away the mop and everything oh god i feel you <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I feel bad. Ah, ketchup on the floor. I will add some pity pity and some ketchup over that. To give it a bit of color, I don't like the color. We need it a bit saucy. I made chocolate pudding cake. <laughs> My mom would make it often. And the water mixes, gets dark brown, yeah. <laughs> and some pity pity for spiciness. Like that, and I might add more of these. Look here, see? You see close? Ah, hot, hot. Hot, 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 hot. Now it looks a lot better. Now I like it. Let's check the door from here. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I need to stop this. Look at the door. <laughs> yes, new mop and kitchen towels and a few Hail Marys for language. <laughs> oh, you don't see. Look at this. Nice. Cute. Look at this cutie. <laughs> yeah, I felt really bad when my kombucha exploded. Yeah. My mom gave me one time some uh, homemade canned tomato juice with herbs in uh, and we use that for uh, for Romanian sour soup and when I opened that the tomato went uh, everywhere in the kitchen happened that to me too like yeah I had a few of these events that almost made me, made me red decorate and paint the house <laughs> looks really good at though i will um, have to separate and cut a small pieces piece out of these let me put this here um i think i'm gonna bake it in the air fryer I'm 
gonna use this. 